What if I were to tell you that you could clean the bedding out of your chicken coop only twice a year without it ever smelling like chicken farts? Today we're talking about the deep litter method inside your chicken coop and we're starting this off with a freshly cleaned chicken coop full of nice fluffy new bedding. There's different types of bedding you can use for this method. You just want it to be organic. I've used some straw. I've used pine shavings, the shredded kind. I've used pine shavings, the fine kind. You can use any kind of organic material that's gonna break down easily. I kind of moved away from using straw because straw takes a long time to break down. It works really well in your chicken coop, it, the chickens love it, but it does take a long time to break down. So when you're when you're kind of at the end of this of this process, you want to have a material that's going to break down easily that you can compost down and put in your garden. The fine pine shavings that we use, they break down really easily. They are just really small, nicely, nicely shaved pine and it works in my opinion the best out of any other thing you can get as far as the deep litter method goes they're cheap they're readily available i think five cubic feet of it is something like six bucks it's really cheap and really to get started with this all you need to do is get three to five inches of whatever bedding you go with get it on the floor of your chicken coop and wait for your chickens to poop and now what we've done in the bottom of our chicken coop is we've essentially made a compost pile we don't have all the ingredients for that compost pile yet but we've got it started and as long as this compost pile is managed well it's never going to stink in compost you have two main things. You have green matter and brown matter, which is going to be carbon and nitrogen. You're going to find a lot of different ratios all over the internet. The main ones that I go with with my composting pile is going to be four to one. And in the chicken coop, what we have is we have chicken poop, which is going to be our nitrogen, our green. And that's going to be the stuff that you only want one part of. And the brown is going to be the chicken bedding that you're using. So in my case, it's going to be the pine shavings. So as long as I have four parts pine shavings to one part chicken poop, it's never going to stink for me. But if I were just to leave it sitting how it is right now and the chickens were pooping and pooping and pooping and it built up over months and months and months and I never did anything to it it's gonna start to stink just like you probably dealt with in your normal chicken coop on the flip side to that if you look at my chicken coop right now it is leaning very far to the brown side it's brand new fresh chicken bedding all it is is the pine shavings there's not really any chicken poop in there if you're leaning really heavy on the brown side it's not as big of a deal as leaning on the green side with your chicken poop so if you have a lot of bedding in there and there's not any chicken poop in there yet it's not going to kind of activate and start composting and really getting all that good micro activity and all that but it's not going to stink either so right now we're starting with pretty much an entire floor of just brown matter and that's perfectly fine one thing that we need to just be paying attention to is once every couple of weeks once a month whatever it is based on the size of your chicken coop and how many chickens you have you need to be adding extra brown matter in there as your chickens start to poop in there your ratio is going to start to shift it start is going to start to get more heavy on the green or the nitrogen side and you really have to start to balance that ratio out there's one way to really tell if your nitrogen is too high if you step into your chicken chicken coop and you smell chicken poop, your nitrogen is too high. You need to add more browns. The more you do this, the more you're really dealing with the deep litter method, the better you're going to be able to get at just stepping into your coop and knowing if you need to add more bedding on there before it really starts to stink. But for now, a good indicator is if you step into your coop, smells like chicken poop, go ahead and add new bedding on top of your old bedding. You don't want to mix it in. Just take a new bag of chicken bedding and go ahead and spread about an extra one to two inches on top of the old bedding that's already sitting there on the bottom. And really for about the next six months you can just kind of build this well-crafted lasagna of chicken poop and bedding and more chicken poop and more bedding but like a lasagna if you just leave this sitting there for the next six months it's gonna start to stink it's very important that throughout this entire process you keep it dry because if it does get wet it's gonna turn sour really quickly this only works as long as everything is dry on the inside so try to have a water set up that they can't tip over make sure that your coop is sealed up completely so rain isn't getting in it is gonna get dusty and that's okay that's just kind of part of all of this is it, is it will get dusty in there but I'd much rather have it dusty and healthy than wet and soppy and just nasty and gross I, I'm, I'm not here for that at all <laughs> and you really want to keep this going as long as you can for me I only clean this out twice a year and that's in the spring and the fall but this is obviously going to vary depending on your chicken coop size and how many chickens you have and depending on how many chickens you have and how big of a coop you have within three to six months you should have something that looks like this it's been roughly six months since we went through and cleaned all the bedding out of our chicken coop and boy do we have a lot of it we have probably six to eight inches along the whole floor of this coop and that's exactly what we want this stuff is really kind of compacted down it's starting to decompose it doesn't smell whatsoever in here even though it looks pretty dirty we haven't cleaned any chicken poop out of here since the fall so what we do in the late fall right before winter right before it starts to get cold we come through and we do a full cleaning just like we are today and then we do another one of those in the spring so we're kind of a little bit late right now we're kind of into the summer but i wanted to make this video for a coop our size with the amount of birds that we have that's about how 
often we have to do it. We only clean this twice a year, but we don't want to throw any of this old bedding away. We want to get it out of here, but we don't want to waste it. This stuff is extremely nutritious and it's going to be great compost to put over there in our garden. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value out of this video, do me a favor, go down and hit the like button. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pull all the nesting boxes out. I'm going to pull all the food bins, water bins, roosting ladder. I'm going to pretty much clear this entire thing out. I'm going to shovel all this good nutritious bedding that we have down here on the ground. I'm going to shovel it out, put it in a wheelbarrow and move it over to the compost pile. We don't want to put this directly out into the garden right now because a lot of this poop is still fresh. It's still new, right? It's still too hot for the garden. We can't just put it in there right now. But what we can do with this is we can just pile it up over there in the corner and let it naturally compost down. And you'll want to treat this just like you treat any other compost pile. You want to put it out there, let it really decompose and, and, and break down. And then you want to put it over in your garden. So just don't, don't move it straight from here into the garden. Let it break down first. As we get moving around in here, it's going to be kicking up a lot of dust. And that dust isn't something you want to be breathing in necessarily. So if you have a respirator, put on your respirator. If you don't have a respirator, maybe put a bandana over your face or just hold your breath for a long time. <laughs> Whatever you have to do. Yeah. Tell me, tell me more. I, I'm sorry, I'm trying to clean it out for you guys. It's it's not for my comfort, it's for yours. As you're shoveling all this stuff out, you're gonna get to the last little kind of inch, just tiniest little layer of, of your old bedding down there on the bottom. Go ahead and just leave that there. You don't wanna be taking that out because what, what it's gonna do is you've got all these good microorganisms that are sitting in, in your old compost pile, in your old bedding, right? Well, all these microorganisms are gonna jumpstart your next deep bedding. So when you put all the fresh stuff in here, it's gonna really help if you have just the tiniest little layer of old stuff on the bottom so all those microorganisms and that micro activity it can all just kind of jump start instead of having to start all back over from from scratch after you've pulled all of your old bedding out and you put it into a compost pile every once in a while you want to turn that pile you want to get in there with a the pitchfork shovel hands whatever you got is going to work just make sure you turn it make sure you give it some oxygen 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 <laughs> oxygen. Make sure you're turning it. Make sure you're keeping it a little bit damp, not really wet, but you just want to keep it damp. Treat it exactly how you would treat a normal compost pile. And after a while, you're going to start seeing that the compost is starting to darken. It's starting to look like actual compost and look like something that you'll put in your garden and not just a giant dirty pile of chicken poop. <laughs> With this compost pile we have here, we use straw for the bedding th that time around. And honestly, I probably won't do straw ever again, just based on how kind of how long it takes to break down because this pile is pretty old. It's been it's been there a while and it's just finally starting to break down, but it took quite a while because of the straw. What we use now is this stuff right here. This is the fine pine shavings. We just get this from Tractor Supply. But if you get the fine pine shavings, they break down faster than anything we've used and they make a really good bedding. So this is the stuff that we end up using and it works great. It breaks down really well, turns into a really good compost. We, we really like this stuff. There's a lot of mistakes you can make when keeping chickens, but if you watch this video right here, I'm gonna go over 10 of those mistakes and how you can avoid them. So go ahead and watch that video and I'll see you there.